Rhinebeck Bank to pay at least $950,000 in New York car dealer interest discrimination settlement and Westlake Financial to pay over $225,000 to resolve Civil Relief Act claims against service members. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Rhinebeck Bank has agreed to pay $950,000 fine and restitution to settle allegations that its associated car dealers discriminated against minority borrowers in New York State. The October 5th consent order announced by the New York Department of Financial Services also requires the Poughkeepsie, New York-based lender to continue capping the markups it allows dealers to add to interest rates of the indirect car loans that the stores organize and send to the bank. New York Superintendent of Financial Services Adrian Harris says today's agreement from Rhinebeck Bank demonstrates the department's commitment to ensuring access to financial services on equitable terms for all consumers throughout New York State. Rhinebeck said in a news release Thursday that he disagreed with the department's conclusions and denied the allegations, but settled for avoiding a lengthy and costly legal battle. Mm -hmm. Disagreed, but paying through the nose. <clears throat> all righty then. <laughs> yeah. Since December 15th, 2020, Rhinebeck has allowed dealers to discretionally add up to two percentage points of the dealer's reserve to the purchase rate. And that's where the problem is, the minimum annual percentage rate at which the bank would purchase a loan based on the credit worthiness of the borrower. Right. It limited this interest rate margin to one and a half points for loans between 73 and 84 months and two points for loans up to 72 months. Between January 1st, 2017 and December 15th, 2020, the bank limited the margin of intermediaries between one and a half and two and a half percentage points depending on the length of the term, although it allowed a small number of intermediaries to add a reserve of up to three points. And this is exactly, folks, why you need to talk to your own bank or credit union first. You won't have to deal with any of this crap. Exactly. The consent order said the Department of Financial Services analyzed Rhinebeck's loan portfolio and found that Hispanic Rhinebeck borrowers on average experienced an additional 0.21 or 0.33 percentage points in their interest rates than whites between 2017 and 2021. Unfortunately, blacks paid an additional 0.31 to 0.39 points of margin than whites between January 1, 2017 and August 31st, 2020. The agency said Asians were charged 0.15 points more than whites between August 1st, 2018 and August 31st, 2020. The agency said the differences were statistically significant because they did not reflect the credit worthiness of the borrower. Hmm. The consent order states, although the department found no evidence of any intentional discrimination by the bank or its employees, <laughs> yeah. the bank's specific policies and practices permitted automobile dealers to raise a consumer's interest rate above the purchase rate established by the bank, resulting in disparate impact on the basis of race and national origin. Rhinebeck didn't monitor dealerships for disparities until 2020, according to the Department of Financial Services. Rhinebeck violated New York's credit discrimination law by giving dealers the discretion to set reserves and producing such a disparate impact. This settlement reflects a startling departure by DFS from the current focus of virtually all federal and state banking regulators and enforcement agencies on fair lending involving dealer reserving, said Rhinebeck CEO Michael Quinn. Dealers, not banks, determine how much markup to charge customers. And we all know exactly how fair dealers are about anything. Oh, yeah. Interestingly, New York State did not force the bank to switch all dealerships to a fixed fee as it did in a 2021 consent order with lender Chamung Canal to resolve similar allegations. Instead, Rhinebeck must limit dealers' ability to set the interest rate spread within the same one and a half to two points cap that it set in 2020. However, it must also create a flat rate penalty for discriminating retailers. Like having the fox watch the chicken coop. <laughs> Banks don't know the racial or ethnic characteristics of borrowers before a loan is originated, Quinn said in a statement. In fact, the law prohibits banks from requesting such information, which means that DFS's action is based on allegations that affected customers are presumed to be members of a particular race or ethnicity. In 2014, the National Association of Automobile Dealers, the National Association of Minority Automobile Dealers, and the International Association of Automobile Dealers in the <laughs> United States <laughs> offered dealers a strategy to avoid disparate impact claims. Choose a standard retail margin and stick to it. Yeah. Deviate easy. down only in certain situations, such as price matching a competitor's rate, and document the reason for the change. Simple. Based on the recent actions by the Federal Trade Commission and the Massachusetts Attorney General's Office against the dealers, 
The latter is also on regulators' radar. Hey, here's a clue. Just do the right thing. Jeez. Quinn said Ryan Peck's direct consumer loans showed consistent pricing and the bank was committed to fair and equitable access to credit. I don't buy it. <laughs> this next story involves negative actions taken by a financial institution against veterans, unfortunately. Yeah. Westlake Financial is forced to pay over 225000 to resolve Civil Relief Act claims involving military members. That doesn't seem like enough money to me. No, not even. The Justice Department announced that Westlake Financial has agreed to pay more than $225,000 to resolve allegations that it violated the Service Members Civil Relief Act, SCRA, by failing to provide qualified service members with interest rate benefits for the entire period required and by improperly delaying approval of interest rate benefit requests. United States Attorney Martin Estrada said service members make enormous sacrifices and we have a responsibility to protect their rights and ensure they have full access to important benefits guaranteed under the law. He added, the settlement with Westlake Financial reflects the Justice Department's firm commitment to protecting the rights of service members. Assistant Attorney General Kristen Clark of the Justice Department's Civil Rights Division said, the Service Members Civil Relief Act makes clear that those serving in our nation's military are entitled to receive interest rate benefits as soon as they are called to service. She added, this settlement sends the message that we will hold companies accountable when they deny service members the important interest rate benefits they are entitled to under federal civil rights law. The act states that interest on any debt incurred by a service member before entering military service is limited to 6% per year. Mm -hmm. To take advantage of the interest rate cap, a service member must provide the creditor with written notice and a copy of their military orders or other documentation of their military service no later than 180 days after leaving service. After receiving notice, a creditor must forgive any interest in excess of the 6% retroactively back to the date orders are issued, calling the service member to active duty. Mm -hmm. Westlake Financial is a Los Angeles-based auto finance company that specializes in subprime and near subprime loans. In 2017, the Justice Department filed a complaint in United States District Court in Los Angeles alleging that Westlake and its subsidiary, Wilshire Commercial Capital, violated the SCRA by unlawfully repossessing at least 70 vehicles owned by SCRA-protected service members. To resolve those allegations, Westlake entered into a settlement requiring the company to pay over $700,000 to service members and a $60,788 civil penalty and to be subject to monitoring by the department. This case was handled by the Civil Rights Division's Housing and Civil Enforcement Section and the United States Attorney's Office in Los Angeles. Since 2011, the Justice Department has obtained over $476 million in monetary relief for over 121,000 service members through the enforcement of SCRA. That seems like a lot. For more information about the department's SCRA enforcement efforts, please visit servicemembers.gov. Service members and their dependents who believe that their rights under the SCRA have been violated should contact the nearest Armed Forces Legal Assistance Program office. Office locations can be found at legalassistance.law.af.mil. The link is appearing now on the screen for you. I've shared in the last few days that MPG Extreme, the maker of XCAPS, is going global, but that's not all. Great news ahead for over-the-road truckers. The company is launching a new product known as MPG Truckers Crumbs, which is enough product to treat large volumes of fuel with one simple vial of X caps. Yeah. For all you truck drivers out there, we will absolutely share this when it becomes available. Semi trucks do great with X caps. The fuel cost savings are off the hook. With the smaller consumer packaging, it's just a little bit inconvenient to dispense out of this kind of packaging into very large quantities of fuel. Sure. For you everyday drivers out there, the XCAP boosts fuel economy in most vehicles. We've both experienced a 20% improvement in our vehicles, as well as many others who've shared their results with us. I also have a special FYI for those of you who are burning premium gas. Your savings with the XCAP isn't necessarily a fuel economy improvement for you. It's the opportunity to save money by buying cheaper 89 or 87 octane fuel. Add an XCAP to your tank and you have cheaper gas that burns like premium fuel but even better because the X cap also cleans your engine. Yeah. Many people don't know that the difference between 87 and premium fuel at your gas pumps is often just an additive the fuel companies themselves add to it to finish the gasoline. So with the X cap, you can buy cheaper fuel and do the fuel finishing yourself. There you go. If you have questions about the X cap and how it can boost your fuel economy, or maybe you're wondering if your vehicle is a good candidate for the X cap, Email us at kevinthehomeworkguy at gmail.com or call text to 
888-238-3399. We have a big customer database, so we know how it works best, and we promise you a straight-up, honest answer. Helping the average vehicle owner is what we've been doing for 13 straight years, and now more than ever, that's exactly what our goal continues to be. All right, if you're new here at the Homework Guy channel, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell, and we welcome you to our family. And of course, please share our videos on social media. Thanks, everyone, for coming back, and to all our faithful followers out there, you guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with the amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.